What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to go over day trading recap. Stock GHSI made a real nice move. All to my surprise. Check it out. All right, guys, we're going to jump right on into this. Just GHSI is still squeezing. This is live, as you see right here. Uh, it's got a high day of 286. It looks like it really wants that $3. Uh, pretty much if it holds these levels might pull back a little bit But if it gets back over these levels if it pulls back and uh, you know, we get over three bucks uh, We might have ourselves here a real nice squeeze up to Oh man easily 350 uh, and then four bucks according to this daily So we get over this three dollar area we got room up to right here right around this 350, 360 area, and then, you know, four bucks. So definitely gonna keep this on watch. Might be able to get another trade in it. I do have one trade on it today. I... So today we had also Fran, F-R-A-N. It was, you know, one of the leading gappers. It was the leading gapper this morning. I'll show you my gap scan here. If I can get that, here we go. Here's my gap scan. You can see F-R-A-N was the leading gapper. Um, these are the trade idea scanners. If you're interested in those, there is a coupon code in the description section below. So you might want to check that out. Uh, gives you, I think it's 15% off uh, on your scanners. So we had FRAN, uh, but you know what? This is what, we, what we've been seeing right here out of our leading gappers. Look at this open, little quick pop, and then a, a complete fade. A complete fade. If anybody caught this short, I mean, that would have been an awesome trade. Uh, I know some people like to trade the open, so they might have jumped in here. You know, if I was going to short this, I would have waited for this bounce up here into resistance and then maybe take a starter and then add and then, you know, probably first take profit, uh, second take profit, and then wait here for a little flush down now before I take profit again. So that's how I would short this. Uh, you know, at this point, probably I'd set a stop over 450. Well, not, yeah, over 450. Because there was previous support, so if we break that, we might get a little squeeze back up here, uh, you know, to basically where I would have shorted. So that's what we've been seeing a lot of these leading gappers. So it's not surprising to see GHSI, who was at the time the number two leading gapper, uh, who had a decent open, get the big attention. So it's something to definitely keep on watch the rest of the day, especially if it holds over 225, uh, 224, which was the halt price. Uh, do we, I did not have high hopes today uh, just because it's been real kind of choppy summer action this week. Even though yesterday, uh, what was it, APRN had a real nice move, I still wasn't a believer. So this morning, I uh, actually was extremely late uh, to my desk. I did not think we were going to have any movers. Uh, and if we did, I said to myself, I want it to show me that it's going to be strong. And, you know, I'll get back to it tomorrow. Uh, but I will look for a trade today, obviously. You know how it is. So I did catch a trade today. Unfortunately, I did not catch this pullback. I was watching it here, and I thought I was chasing it at 180 or 190. Uh, you know, chasing the pullback. Obviously, it, didn't, it wasn't anywhere up near the highs. But, you know, my risk reward wasn't sound. It was like a one-to-one -one in that area, so I wasn't interested. Uh, however, we, you know, squeezed up, made a new high, halted. Then I was watching for a pullback and a reclaim of the halt price uh, to show me it was support. It did. I got in. And I just, you know, I couldn't take one of my nice long trades, so I just scalped it on the way up. And here you could see um, entry 223, first take profit 240, took more profit at 238. And then I stopped out the rest right in front of break even at 229 when it was coming back down. I was really holding that last 250 shares looking for an extension move to take some profit off at, well, at 250 and the rest at 270. But I got I got chopped out here. And here we are with a 297 touch now going at three bucks. Volume is still steady. So this thing is still in play. So let me bring out that live trade for you so you could see. Well, I didn't get to put everything that I, you know, that, that's why I showed you the orders right now real quickly. Uh, just because I didn't really catch everything on my live trade recording here. I was already out of the bulk. See, I got in uh, once we reclaimed this 225. And as we started to push, I was quickly taking profits. So I didn't really get to record everything. But here I'm in, you know, we're at 253, uh, 
250 shares I have left. And I was trying to get those out uh, here at 250. Well, not all of them, just 100 or 150 of them. I was trying to get those out at, at 250. Uh, you can see here I have a limit order for 150, but it just wouldn't. I didn't catch them. Uh, let's see here. Fast forward a little bit here. See, I, would, I didn't catch them. And then, you know, I, I hold through all this. Then we get this candle. And since we had this real, you know, kind of toppy wick here, uh, I mean, I guess I should have been more confident in my 225 entry here. Uh, I wasn't too confident at this point just because you know that the way I trade, I like to get in down here on this pullback. I seldom trade these uh, anymore, these halt resumptions uh, showing me support here. I, I seldom trade those. In fact, one of the things I'll watch for now if we don't break three bucks is maybe a pullback into that area again for another entry, potential entry. So let's see here. Takes a while, then we start to get that kind of action. And that, see that, that right there kind of spooked me. I thought we were just gonna flush on down, all the way back down to $2. And I didn't want any part of that. You know, I was already nicely red uh, over a hundred bucks. I'm sorry, green over a hundred bucks. So I didn't want to uh, jeopardize that because yesterday was a small red day. Yesterday I lost 60 something dollars, 65 I think it was. So I'm already up a hundred dollars on the day. And I didn't want to uh, risk it on just these last 250 shares. So that's why basically I had to stop at break even, you know. Uh, in this case, it was a mental stop at break even. So there we go. I sell them out right there just because I thought we were going to get a crack. Um, we didn't. We flagged throughout this area and then we pushed onto new highs. So there goes that, right? But rather, you know, be sick than sorry, up 116 bucks in the day. Can't complain about that. We'll be watching this for another potential entry. If I do get back in here, obviously it will not be with full size. Uh, it'll be with a fraction of the full size just to pad that 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 wallet right there a little bit, you know? Um, and that's it. So, I mean, this was a real clean trade right here. If you would have gotten in on this pullback here, Oh, that was a clean, clean trade. Even if you just took a starter position here and added a little bit here, took some profit, you know, some more profit and some more profit. Clean, beautiful trade that would have been. Uh, this 90 MA is still holding up. This 90 MA VWAP cross really ignited this trade. I caught at least a little piece of it. Very nicely green on the day. Generally, 100 bucks, you know, is my, my goal uh, on average uh, a day. So met that goal today. Uh, might watch out for another trade on it. Maybe not. We'll see uh, how it all plays out. Let me know how you did. Drop it in the comment section below. Did you catch a piece of this GHSI? If you did, what were your entries and exits? Where did you trade it? And how did you trade it? Remember to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And smash that like button because, believe it or not, it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost me anything. But it amazingly helps me out a lot because it helps get these videos going it really helps out with the algorithm believe it or not just smash that like button for me and you will make me the happiest guy on earth today i'll catch you in the next one